All right, so this is prey. <laughs> it's not the prey you thought it'd be, probably. It's not the prey you want, but it's the prey I'm going to play. Because I don't mean to sound like a hipster, but I liked prey way before it was cool. One thing I want to point out about this loading screen that bothered me because I've played through this game twice is if you look at the character art of the girl and the old man. The world is full of stories. And maybe we'll get a chance to see it again, but the, the old man's hair looks like it. It's her saggy boob. Themselves. And that grosses me right out. <laughs> so yeah, I have played through this game twice. I like it a lot. It's from a really great era of FPS games. And I thought, you know, with the new Prey coming out and it not being the Prey 2 I wanted, why don't we play the Prey Real tough that I do want? Can't even tell you love her. I gotta get off this damn reservation. If she'd just come with me, it'd all be different. It'd all be... Listen to yourself. Who do you think you're kidding? All right, so that's Tommy. This is the main character, and this is who we're playing as. Oh. Doesn't anyone ever clean this place? <clears throat> so, like I said, this is... Uh, oh, gross. I really like this. I really like this game a lot. It's really great. Let's try to break it right now. Let's break this fucking game. <clears throat> just kidding. Let's stop. Let's stop breaking the game and just enjoy it. One thing I don't think we're going to be able to Tell enjoy. Benisi? Oh. What are you doing here? I sense great change on the winds. I came to warn Save you. Save it, Grandfather. You know I don't go for that shit. Listen, Tommy. You cannot turn your back on your heritage any longer. It will give you strength. Strength? For what? To save yourself. To survive. Survive? What are you talking about, Anise? Go home. My place is here, by your side. You will have need of me this night. Sure. Whatever. <clears throat> so right off the bat, the character is clearly, uh... You know, I am, uh... I've got a close repair of me. I'm, I'm an Indian dude. But, uh, you know, I'm a modern Indian dude. I don't, I don't follow this... This voodoo bullshit. Like Jen's running low on Ryan Red. That, uh... That my grandfather, or Anisi, I think I, is just... Spice. <laughs> my ass is uh, just a thing. I think it just means grandfather. But uh, one thing that I want to note is that this intro uses a bunch of licensed music <laughs> that I'm going to have to cut out. So let's pause for a minute so I can open Audacity. I'm going to open Audacity so that I have an audio track that I can replace. So the sound effects and volume are going to disappear for a moment here. <laughs> Man. Jen's let this place slide. Or maybe it won't. I don't know just how quiet I've made it. This is a bar. We don't sell jewelry. Hey, maybe she's got something else for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing either of you could afford. Drink up, boys. Hey, Grease Monkey. <laughs> hey, what's up, babe? Did you come in here for a drink? Or to dump your dirty tools on my nice, clean bar? <laughs> Sorry, babe. But yeah, we have a I bunch of licensed music. Tools. We can actually change it if we want. These things are all interactable. And we can play any of these. And it's important to note that uh, this jukebox does not have uh, Don't Fear the Reaper this stuff? by the Blue Oyster Cult. It does not have that, and that's important to note. And I'll get to why in a moment. But uh, you know, let's just Whoa. let's just. <laughs> I actually didn't know you could do that. I never really fooled around much in this game, so let's fool around a just wee bit. Got here. All right, let's let's just see what kind of things we can interact with here. Worst Indian casino ever. Oh, human head. I I don't. Uh, okay, blackjack. Uh, I got ten credits. Let's go for five. Deal. Uh, I don't know how to play card games, to be honest. I guess, uh, I uh, four, uh, hit me. Uh, that's 18. 
I'll stay. I lost. Alright, well, F that game. Then we got draw poker. I don't know how to play poker. Oh, video slots. I can't possibly screw this up. Let's go five. Boom. Alright, let's do another five. Spend all my money. Fucking game over. Does it just reset me to 10 credits after a game over? Yeah, it does. Okay. And we got Rune Man. This this is just Pac-Man. <laughs> this is just Pac-Man with Vikings on it. <clears throat> Anyways, we're listening to that Barracuda song. Not that you can hear it, because I'll have to remove all of this. Hey, Queen's with Red. How about a couple more beers over here? Queen loves you, you know. She has a hell of a way of showing it. She is Cherokee. She is bound to this land. Asking her to leave is asking her to give up a part of her soul. But doesn't she want something better than this? To be among one's own people. To truly know where you belong. If there is something better in this life, I have not seen it. That's because you never left. Alright, back to over, back to this drama. Stuff is Anyone happening. Oh, here we go. Since the coming of the storm. What? Wolves. Something spooked them. So yeah, there's howling noises. Hey, grease monkey. So... Did you think about what I said? Tommy, not this again. Come away with me. Just for a few days. Off the reservation. Why can't we just be together here? You know why. I hate this place. It's a goddamn cage. It's no way to live. This place is my home. My job is here. My family is here. Do you think you're saving me by taking me away? I'm Cherokee, Tommy. Just like you. You should be proud of that. Look. I know the tribe's important to you. I'm proud that you can keep a straight just, face while the polygons on your uh, collarbone are ruining anything. everything. Hey, Pocahontas, let's have two more cobras over here. Last call, boys. Already? Oh, hell no, that ain't right. It's time for you boys to leave. Have you been wagging that pretty little... Actually, it's 1.55 and 2 o'clock is last call. And off. Do something. One little kiss. Where's the harm in that? Fuck off. <laughs> Where's that famous engine hospitality, huh? Don't touch her. All right then, Chief. You want it? Come get it. Uh -uh. All right, now we're introduced to combat. Mind you, combat won't be quite like this. In fact, there's barely any melee combat to be done. Now you really piss me off. Sorry, Chuck. I'll just beat you the hell up. Oh, now everything's freaking out. We dropped our programming. This is civil emergency. Important instructions will follow. Oh, the TV's just reading itself to me. This thing stopped working. Now there's lots of cool stuff happening outside. We got fucking alien lights picking up cars. Oh, Blue Wisher Call's playing now. I'll probably have to remove this, but uh, you know, it's Don't Fear the Reaper. Everyone likes this song. Let's just keep talking over it and maybe YouTube won't notice. Here, yeah, but now they're gone. I found the solution. I'm gonna sing it. Covers are okay. Seasons Don't Fear the Reaper. No, do the winds or the sun or the rain. We can be like they are. Oh my god, my grandpa's being taken. Where the fuck is Jen? She's on the bar now. We're getting beamed up into an alien spaceship. Holy shit, aliens. <clears throat> Alright, well. Hopefully that was enough uh, butchering of Blue Oyster Cult that uh, YouTube didn't notice that there was licensed music in this video. So now let's move on with the game. I guess I can stop Audacity while this is loading in case I do have to cut the audio out aside from myself.
this part's really cool. Like with with an intro this strong, like how could you not be like dragged into this game? It's like wow, there's cool stuff going on here. There's Jen and, and Grandpa to my sides there. Nothing to my left. I guess I'm just on the right, or the yeah the leftmost. We get cool mirrors. Uh, interesting little thing that uh that's not mirror technology. That's actually, I'm pretty sure it's just portal technology. Because uh, this game is a portals game. It's going to mess with us real bad. What are they going to do to us? I don't know, Jen. Stay calm. I'll get us out of here. Just give me a minute. And like the reflective surface, the mirror thing, is a really cool way to give you a third person scene while not leaving the first person perspective. That... That on its own, I think that's a pretty brilliant little idea. But yeah, we're uh, we're doing like a. It's it's very strong like. If uh, if one can recall Quake two or four. But uh, the strog they they were a fusion of technology and like flesh and stuff. This isn't so much fleshy, as it is kind of rock like. But uh, it's it's similar in its ways. Oh, Jen is still there. Don't really know where Grandpa went. Everything's chaotic and confusing and scary and that's what's really great about this scene. Oh, we see this guy. What's he up to? Okay. What? That can't be good. Do I have uh, that special hero ability of coincidental timing? Also, this game has uh, surround Uniqua sound, which you won't be able to, to appreciate, Help us in our time but it's a really cool thing I can appreciate. Like, it's very centered when I'm facing this way. Very leftmost when I'm looking away. There's a great spirit. He's not here. I just... I just want a better life for Jen and myself. And now look what's happening. At least I got my trusty wrench though, right? Oh, no. Not as iconic as a crowbar, but I'll take it. Alright, so now the game's starting. First thing you'll notice is this puckering anus. Oh, yep, <laughs> that's, that's right, Tommy. What's uh, what's interesting about this game? It's not a thing quite yet. Oh, well, that's cool. It's uh, it's it was normally C to crouch, but they had it prepared so if I did change that, it would reflect in this. Because normally it would just be like C default to crouch, but uh, no, they went through the effort of making sure that control showed up if you changed it to what control. The hell is that? Whatever it is, I should probably kill it. Hey man, are you okay? Shit, guess not. You you know what? You can kill these guys. Better off this way. You really shouldn't, because it's mean. You probably shouldn't smash someone in the butt with a wrench. Do they have uh do they have blood decals? Oh yeah, see he's he's getting a little messed up from my swings. <clears throat> Anyways, enough of that. And we, we, of course, have this cool tech that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe, uh, oh, hey, Harl, thanks for coming by. I believe this whole screen thing was, uh, for, like, first appeared in Doom 3. Now this butthole isn't having it. Where you'd walk up to a screen and your crosshair would become the mouse on the screen and you could interact with it. I think, uh, yeah, F is also a uh, flashlight, sort of. It's actually a lighter, so you don't aim it. You just get a glow around you, and we have a little thing on the on the side there that's a charge up thing. That could be explosive, so I'm not gonna whack it. Oh, hider. Yeah, but I gotta beat these guys. I guess these little monsters just kind of in inhabit this uh this ship, which is what we just think it is so far. I won't spoil anything, but uh, they inhabit this place. 
Another another cool thing is uh, like when when I started the game, you noticed I had two difficulties: normal and, and Cherokee. Cherokee being, of course, the much harder one. But uh, something to note is this game has adaptive difficulty. So as you're, you know, doing better, it gets a little harder. And this is when we. F oh. We uh, get our first introduction to, uh... oh, Harl, Harl, you've been fooled. <laughs> I knew <laughs> the first person that comes by, the person that runs Stream Boy Advance, he's the first one to be fooled. Harl, this is not the new prey. This is the this is the 2006 prey. But anyways, as I was saying, this is our first introduction to the the sort of weird portal technology we're going to see. I'm passing through this. Uh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, I have to pass through it this way. And now we're in a different place. And that, I believe, the uh, the mirrors that we were seeing earlier, I think the mirror technology is based on this. Where what they do is they just they place a portal that's looking at you. And then in front of it, they place the portal you're seeing into. So you're not really looking at a reflection as much as you're just looking at yourself from a different perspective. I'm looking at uh, screens. Oh, I think that one was my grandpa. But yeah, there. Oh, that's me. I'm on TV. But anyways, let's get on with this game. It's it's a really cool thing, and the they they mess around a lot with perspective, like what we're seeing here. We have guys walking on the ceiling. Well, that's not the ceiling. That's the floor. To them. And it's the ceiling to me. Or am I on the ceiling? And Well, whatever the case. This game does that quite a bit. The, uh, like the, the gross one, I need to take a little sip. The gross fleshy imagery and the perspective shifts and the moving around. Playing this, this game awesome. for extended periods of time can absolutely make you feel a little nauseous due to how much messing around this is this is going to be doing these things heal us what are these things i feel good oh, the best bukkake i've ever had there's no sprint you just move very quickly there is crouch and there is jump All right, see you. Hold on, we gotta see just how fast I can do that. Let's get let's get into primo mashing zone. Oh, <sighs> all right, not fast enough to crash the game. I want to go home. Yes, yeah, best Bukaki you've ever had. You can quote me on that, Harl. I say a lot of quotable things, but uh, the re the reason for this is is pretty obvious. You know, you can kind of imagine where we're going with those little screens, but uh, if it's not obvious to you, then I won't say it. Those guys are just gonna keep running continuously in case you missed it the first time. Not oh, remember this old. Well, I don't imagine games have crashed from button spam, but I'm well some probably shittier ones do. And now we're gonna be told about uh... whoop can't go that way. Can't read this. Did hitting it cause it to do the thing or was that just a timed thing? I wonder. Let's smash the next working screen. Oh boy! I can see the reds of their eyes that's pretty cool. I know there's another one in there but I imagine when I step into this room it's gonna be the yeah the lighter tutorial. Which is F. F for flashlight. Oh yeah, I guess hitting it does cause it to do that. That's a cool effect. This, uh, you know what, this game? I, you know, I play a lot of old games that aren't very good. But, uh, this one, like, just, just bear with me here. Stick around. This is a good one. I can't say for sure what the point of, oh, I guess I off. What the point is of all the stabbing on this machine is but uh but I can tell you that that hardly seems necessary let's take a look at this 
we're gonna get a, a really great view in a moment, but, but why, why is this? For what, like maybe green green gas, sure, I don't know, but what what is this spiking for? What could that possibly be for? Do these things hurt me? Oh yeah, they, they blow up in the, in the acid. This is another cool thing I like. Another cool thing I like is doors open depending on how close you are in proximity. See what I mean? Y you know what Grim? You say that the new one looks kind of bland and uninteresting. Well you said bland but I'm sure you meant bland. And uh, you know what? I it looks I've looked at very little because I feel like I'm going to play it either way. But uh, I just it's not the sequel to this game. Like, I fell in love with this game, and I wanted the sequel to it. And when I heard it was going to be a sequel, I was pumped. And then it was going to be a sort of sequel that wasn't really a sequel. And then it wasn't. And now it's just, it's like, what, a Bioshock sort of game? It's not what I wanted. Oh my God. I'm sure it's good. It's just not what I wanted. Hang on. I'll try to stop this thing. No, I'm going to hit it with this wrench. I'm going to hit something with this wrench. And now we get this, this oh God, rather no! sad scene. No! Grandfather doesn't get a... He doesn't get like a dramatic death. He's just... He's just put to the spikes. Thanks, Hyder. Where are you right now? You couldn't have done it a fucking minute ago? Before my grandpa died? Whatever the case, let's move on and we see a more example of portal or portal tech here. And now we get an even better Bukake. Cause we Same get kind of energy as those spores. We get to look into the face of who's doing Oh no it bleeds, no, it's helpful, don't hit it. Yeah, do this. Oh god, what did I just do? Did that re-enable the machine? I re-enabled the fucking machine. Oh no 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 that was that was a bad idea. Oh goodness. So anyways, that's your feel bad tutorial about interacting with these things. <laughs> I re I re-enabled so this guy, this one actually the spores just blast you and then you can't use them again. These are reusable until they run out. My health bar being the little Tommy in the bottom left, which is full, so he's not going to give me any more. But uh, I can return to those for some more health. Much better than the old wrench. All right, so that's my first fire, or not really fire fight, but first battle with an alien, and now I got this. It's got a, a zoom for its uh, uh, alternate fire. And then it just shoots normally. And of course it gets red the more you uh and when you zoom. I think I think the zoom bullets are stronger than uh shooting normally, kinda like the machine gun in, in Quake 4. I I really didn't need that, but you can't stop those from happening if you walk over them. You can just avoid them. So it, it does regen ammo a little bit. I don't know if you saw just now, but I went a little lower than where I am now, and it regened up to that point. Do I want to interact with this fucking? Oh, I just turned that off. Anyways, let's uh, oh, let's grab his gun, get some more ammo, because that will top us up a little further That's than the regen weird. point. Yeah, it's it's much slower in zoom, but it's much stronger. And it also gives you, a, I think as we saw, a little heat signature thing. Fuck those things. Fuck those alien Roombas. Yeah, top me right up. Can't go this way. The bed got the bad noise. So let's listen to this. Tonight by opening up the lines, and I can already tell you folks it's going to get very interesting. 
I'm getting some reports of strange lights in the sky from the Oklahoma area. Our affiliate in Oklahoma City is telling us that the state police, get this, are reporting mysterious lights all over the area and that they're having a hard time responding to all of the calls. It's going to be a wild and woolly night, folks. I just know it. Let's go to the phones. Caller, you're on the air with Art Bell. Yeah, Art? Is this Art? Yes, it's Art. Yes, it's Art, Caller. Yeah, Art, this is George from Garland. You won't believe what's going on around here. There's lights all over the sky. I can't believe it. There's lights? In, you mean in the sky right now? No, yeah, right now. It's, it's amazing. Where? Everywhere. Right over my house. They're, they're moving from north to south. What, what, can you tell me what they look like? Exactly what they look like. Can you tell me about them? There's some uh, blue, blinking ones, blue girl fast, and some green ones, blue girl and some red. Oh my god! One, one of them is took out of a spaceship. It's hovering right over me. It's huge. That sounds exactly like the reports we got from Oklahoma. Do you have a camera with you? Yeah, oh man, a bright green light just came off. George, George. Are you there? We we apparently just lost George. I, I'm going to open up a special line right now for folks in the Garland area. Look, if you're seeing these lights, give us a call and let us know what's going on in the skies over Texas. So if you were paying attention to my gun while that was happening, all of these are explosive. I know that. They explode with acid, so I'm not going to mess with it. But uh, the gun is totally alive. Like, it's it's moving around. It's shivering. The, uh, there's a little eyeball thing. Like when I zoom, we see an eyeball thing come out and clamp to my eye to give me the zoom. I don't know why I'm just okay with that happening. But every now and then it will pop out and look at me. So hopefully you're paying attention. Alright, so this is the this is our very simple puzzle. Let's put the explody thing over that. And of course if you screw it up. Ew, you know what? Let's blow that up again just so we can look at this fucking animation. Oh, gross. <laughs> 